today is another instalment in my minimalism series. Now this is a video I've actually wanted to do for a long, long time, and it's all about buying a second hand. And I thought today was perfect because today I am going to collect a sofa that I bought online on Facebook off of a local selling site. So I got it second hand for 50 pounds and I'm gonna be collecting it this evening. And I just thought I'd take you along and talk to you about why second hand is so important in terms of minimalism. So I've been wanting a sofa for a while and I have resisted the temptation to buy a new sofa. Number one, because it's so expensive. Number two, I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be living in this flat. And number three, because of minimalism and because I don't see the necessity with buying something new when I have something that works perfectly well and is functional today. It's very tempting in today's society in if you are living in Britain, America, if you're living in a privileged uh, country, Australia, Europe, you know, whatever. If you're living in that sort of situation, it's very easy to think, oh, I want this, I want that, when it comes to clothes, furniture, interior, whatever, you want it all because it's there and it's being advertised to you all the time. And it's part of capitalism, it's part of consumerism, and it, you can get caught up in it. I have with fashion and I have done in the past with um, things for the house. It's so, so easy. But it's so important to be conscious and it's more important today than it ever has been with the amount of plastic being washed up in our seas. I watched a video just today about a uh, mass clear up that they're doing in Mumbai on the beach and they've managed to collect I think three million kilograms or something in the last year of plastic from their beaches and this is just because this of this huge lack of care for what we're buying and just just buying and buying and throwing out and throwing out and it's just not something that we should be doing and it's something that it takes individuals to do and you vote with your money and this applies to veganism, applies to minimalism and it's so so important. So I've bought second hand from when I was a lot lot younger and the main reasons for me initially, which is a selfish perspective, but the main reasons always were for me were number one is because it's so much cheaper. This sofa cost me £50 and it's exactly the kind of sofa that I was after. I had looked at various sofas of this kind online, which were probably where uh, this woman got it from and they were cost they cost thousands and I got this for 50 quid and it's practically brand new I'm gonna ask her more information about why she's selling it but it's practically brand new it's good quality you know that's ideal so second hand is so so good if you're on a budget and it might take more time to fill your house but look around go on local selling sites that's where I got it if you go on Facebook you can type in your local area and then put selling site on the end eBay is another great source there are loads and loads of websites that do second hand stuff for so much cheaper and you can deck out your house for a fraction of the cost that it would cost you to get new stuff. Number two is you can buy things that are unique, that are vintage, that are individual pieces. In my living room, for example, I have a coffee table, I have a, a dining table, a TV stand, uh, my side table, a lamp, they're all secondhand and Apart from the lamp, they're all vintage, they're all very old. So the, the dining table used to be as wood made from an old ship. And the um, TV stands from the 70s, it's that kind of, you know, the thing that's in fashion now, that sort of teak furniture. Same with the coffee table. And they all cost me so little money and they're all so unique and so individual. And you wouldn't find that in, in you know, shops these days. A lot of them do imitation versions, but they're not made from real wood. They aren't as expensive looking and it's just a great way to get individual pieces that cost a fraction of the price. And it means that what you're buying is so much higher in quality. What you get for 50 pounds second hand is in another realm to what you get for 50 pounds brand new. It's just completely different. You just have to have patience and you just have to get a knack for it and learn how to do it and just get into it. It's really, really fun. And number three is the most important thing, is the fact that you're reusing. So there's this tier of reducing waste and it goes reuse, reduce and recycle. And you should use that on a day-to-day -day basis when it comes to items, when it comes to buying a new item. If you think, oh, I really need a, uh, a new sofa, for example, go for a reusable sofa, so a second-hand sofa, before going and buying a new one. If everyone started to reuse, that would make a huge difference to our current situation today when it comes to the amount of waste being just thrown out daily by people. Food, furniture, clothes, all of it. And I have been there. I'm not preaching and saying that I'm this perfect human. I am no, by no means perfect and it's only 
more recently than I'm becoming aware of this. I've always been into it and interested in secondhand, but it was more for selfish reasons and more recently I'm becoming much more aware of the environment. Another thing that's quite important is that that I've only just sort of thought about um, is that your money is staying within your community. So whether you're buying clothes from a local charity shop or whether you're buying, you know, like I am, buying a secondhand sofa from from, a, from another person, you're giving that money to that person. And I know that seems really silly and, and small, but that is what, you know, where the economy starts from trading between people. And, you know, you might think of it this big thing, but I'd much rather give my money, 50 pounds, to an individual person who can use that for her you know, for her own usage than giving it to a big business who just makes, you know, millions and millions. It's much better to be giving it to your local community. And lastly, I think that it's so much fun and people underestimate how much fun it is to buy second hand because you get to go on the hunt. So what I'll do sometimes is if I know that I have an item that I want to buy, I will keep an eye on it. You can set up a notification on eBay where it sends you when certain searches are coming up, when new listings have been added. And it's really, really fun. It might take a bit of time, but it's it's so exhilarating when you bid and you win. Like today, I got so excited, more so than I would have done just buying a new sofa, because she posted it and I commented and I was messaging her and it was just like, yes, am I gonna win it? And it was just so much fun and it's just exhilarating. I'm gonna go collect it later and it just makes you feel so good that you've bought something secondhand. I'm gonna go with my dad and take you along with me to pick up this sofa and I'll show you. And another good thing about this is that at the weekend I'm going to be showing you a whole makeover of my living room because I'm going to be moving the sofas out, moving this one in and I'm going to be delving into all of my drawers and shelves and all of that and just completely redoing my living area so it's just right and perfect. So look out for that full on makeover at the weekend. I'm so excited. So yeah, let's go and collect the sofa. Here it is, just about fits. We've just got the sofa in the back and I'll show you what it looks like in situ at home. As you can see, this is like a brand new basically sofa with the extra foot. I asked her why she was getting rid of it and she said that they bought it new in May and her grandma had a reclining sofa that she bought new and she couldn't sit in it comfortably because it was too low and so they were getting that sofa and so they had to get rid of this one which is amazing this is like the sort of sofa that is in all the magazines that it's just the trendy sofa right now and i know that my sister just bought one new and i reckon this was i'm gonna have to try and look this up and find out where this was from because i didn't ask her uh, this was probably at least 500 pound new because so i know that my sister got one recently that was a sofa bed and that was 800 so yeah, this was definitely a few hundred quid at least. So the fact we got this for 50 quid is insane. I'm gonna wrap this up and we're gonna rearrange this whole room on at the weekend because currently it's looking very empty um, now we've rearranged it. We're gonna rearrange it and see how everything fits because it just doesn't feel right in here at the minute. Look, Zeus is like, what is this? He's checking it out. Hey Zeus, nice new sofa. Do you like it? Do you like the new sofa? Look, should I test it out? Ooh, how nice is that? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, um. So many young girls are gonna be following Kim Kardashian, wanting to look like her, wanting to be her. They'll read articles like that and they'll be like, right, I have to go on the Atkins diet then. And they are clueless, 